in this segment of this video, we will talk about SharePoint policies. So what are the policies? Mainly we have two policies under SharePoint policies that is sharing and access control. Like how do you want to have sharing within your organization and how you want to control access for external users and within the organization. So let me bring my page here. So this is admin center for SharePoint. If you don't know how to reach there, click on app launcher and click admin. And there you can see show all, click on show all and click SharePoint. It will take you to SharePoint admin center. And there you can see policies, click on policies. And we have two links there, sharing and access control. And I'm going to access sharing. So whatever we talked about access permission within the site that is related to that particular website. But when, when you want to manage sharing for your whole organization, you can manage using policies and sharing. Here you can see, like we have SharePoint and OneDrive. SharePoint to manage all your website pages and information and OneDrive to manage all your documents. And that's why you can see we have this kind of uh, control here, like most, what is the highest permission you can give to anyone. Like anyone can access your website and anyone can access your documents. It's not like that you are uh, you uh, allowed like this so anyone can come and access your one time it's not like that you can share using some links if you want to restrict it you can just drag and drop here and you will go head to head so this is how you can manage your access permission here after that you can see file and folder link like specific people only people the user specific like folder and file links choose the type of link that's selected by default when user share file and folder in SharePoint and OneDrive. So specific people, like for every people you want to generate a link, you can use this. Only people within our organization can share, anyone with the link, you can share, you can select this. This is what recommended if you are managing your resources using guest and external, you can access this. But this is also, I can say that don't allow for your whole organization. You can just go in that particular website, particular SharePoint site and allow the permission. Don't allow within your organization for anyone. After that, you can see here we have by default view or edit. So I will recommend view, but default is edit. Choose an expiration and permission option for any link you want and you already shared some link with someone else and you forget. So this kind of permission is quite good. Like you can check and select that after 10 days, everything should be expired. So the person, the person will not be able to access, he will message you. So this is what you can set here. Other settings, so owner, owner's name of the people who viewed their file in OneDrive. So that is what you can see like who viewed file in OneDrive, uh, let site owner choose to display the name of people who view file or page in SharePoint. So these are the some uh, uh, small small uh, permissions like you want you, you can have you don't want you can't have. So this is what you can see using uh, sharing within access control. You can click and see that this is mainly for you with this setting to restrict how user are allowed to access content in SharePoint and OneDrive. Like unmanaged devices, like you can uh, add some devices here. I just say some sign out, like if someone is not accessing, just logged in, it will sign out, network location, you can add some IP addresses, like only within your IP uh, addresses, uh, you can open these websites. So this is what you can restrict. For some big organization, they add devices like only their employee can access using the, a particular laptop or particular mobile. So this is what they added using that. And also they added some IP addresses outside those IP addresses. You can't access their intranet because internet is not public website. It is mainly for managing your organization and your resources are priceless. You can't share with anyone. If someone can hack your data, it will be a big problem for your organization.
So that's why these kind of restrictions we have. If you are we want to manage those restrictions so in your organization, you can set up these things. But if you are a small and medium company, these are not very useful for that because this is mainly for big organizations. So this is what we have under policies, say how you can share and how you can manage access control.